Hi everyone, I'm Janae from Boricua Crafts. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Brother SC1900. It is a sewing slash embroidery machine. Um, I am very, very new to this whole world, especially to the world of embroidery. The reason why I want to get into embroidery is because, you know, it looks really, really nice. And I, it's something that I was always curious about and I started watching some YouTube videos and you know, I know it's not really easy to do, but it's something that I want to learn. So um, I started looking at all the different machines that are out there, and I did buy a Brother HC1850, which is right over here. Um, I bought this machine. Love it. It's a quilting sewing machine. Really nice, simple to use. I like Brother products. Um, I have made some mistakes with the machine, but that was user error of me just learning how to use the machine, how to thread it, um, you know, not following the directions, not reading the book like I should be doing. But, you know, I'm kind of learning and I liked it and I like the brand Brother, so I wanted to stick with Brother. So when I did all the searches on embroidery machines, then I learned about the sewing embroidery machines. So this one, a lot of people were saying that they wanted it, but there were no videos out there on it. So I figured, what the heck, I'm going to jump in it and I'll do the videos on it and, um, you know, learn, learn how to use it. And hopefully you can learn with me and stuff. So anyway, let's get to it. Let's unbox this baby. Okay. I just got this from Amazon today. They literally just delivered it about, hmm. Two, two hours ago. So I was really feeling guilty about buying it because it is pretty pricey. It's about, God, it was um, $999 on Amazon. I was able to get an Amazon coupon, which was $30. $30. I use Amazon store card where you get 5% cash back every time you order something on Amazon. So that helps a little bit, but you know, every time I spend a whole lot of money, um, cause I'm real, real, real cheap. I don't like spending money. Um, <laughs> I feel guilty. So I am hoping that when I use this machine, I can probably make some nice, nice gifts, which help to minimize me buying personal like gifts for friends um you know and i can probably maybe sell some stuff you know um you know maybe sell it to some folks and stuff so i don't know so let's see what we got here i'm pretty pretty excited um when i also brought this machine i also went and i bought the thread they have like the brother set of threads oh i didn't bring it up so but i i'll bring it up and show you what i got um and uh, I also got some stabilizers. They had like a 50 pack of stabilizers and stuff. I think it was tearaway sta stabilizers. And when I saw the videos, there's a lot of different stabilizers. Now, what stabilizer you're supposed to use for what? Don't know. So I guess in this journey, um, I'll be learning. So um, let's see. I got this little thing here. I don't know what this is. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, oops, okay. Let's open this up. We have the five by seven hoop. Um, they say it come with that. Um, saying a lot of ums. And I'm part of Toastmasters. I shouldn't be saying ums. I should know better. Um, there we go. <laughs> Guess this is the portion of the machine where you do, you know, the, um, just you put that uh, five by seven tray in here for the embroidery. So I got that. Um, let's see in here. I guess this is for the bobbin. For the bobbin, the bottom, and oh, got some white thread. So it's pretty cool. Polyester, 100% polyester. That's another thing that I see in some of the videos. They say 
um, be very um, aware of the type of thread that you use, you know, the materials. That's really important. I guess it kind of gets fuzzy or something like that. I'm not sure, but I guess I'll learn. So um, they said don't buy cheap thread and stuff. So whew, that's going to make, okay, so that's it for this box. So that's going to make ha uh, Fred happy, I guess, when he sees <laughs> got to spend a lot of money on thread. But, you know, I mean, as long as I think I recoup the money, I think I'll be okay. So I'm going to put this aside with this and put this back in here. And let's see what's on the other in the other box. Because this box is in there with that. I'm going to put this here. Um, let's see. Ah, okay, I got the uh, power, power plug. Uh, this is for the thread to put in the machine, um, you know, I guess to, you know, hold the, the thread. Um, okay, you got your pedal, and your box with, um, I'm sure these are the, uh, oh, the tools. Oh, you got some sewing needles in here. That's another thing too. I guess I'm going to have to learn about the different types of needles, um, what needles you use for sewing versus embroidery. And I'm sure it has, it depends on the material that you use. Oh, it came with scissors. Okay. So I, I know I bought scissors. I ordered it from Amazon. So I'm supposed to be getting some scissors for embroidery because they do have embroidery scissors. And so, so I guess this is basically the sewing machine kit that you get and stuff. So I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, so what else do we have here? Okay, this is just a big spacer. Woo! This is the pretty part. This is the actual, oh, there's something else in here. I don't know what this is. Um, hmm. Where's the scissor? Okay, I'm gonna pause so I can get the scissor to get the stuff so I can get the rest of the stuff. And this is kind of heavy, so I don't want you guys to see me struggling. So I'll be back. Hey everybody. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, I'm running. Okay, uh, I opened this up. You know, I got the scissor, cut around it, and stuff like that, and I got this. <laughs> what this is for? I don't know. So, uh, but I guess I'll have to figure it out. So, um, don't know what this is for at all. Okay. But anyway, like I said, we'll figure it, we'll figure out how to use that. Um, here is the machine. It has a little handle. It's heavy. It is heavy. Um, it is an SC1900 embroidery slash sewing machine. So, it has a little handle too. That's pretty cool um nicely packed um looks good i am um, can't wait to try it out um i think i might end up uh i don't know if i'm gonna sell the he i have the hc 1850 brother sewing machine sewing slash quilting kind of like that machine too so but I, I will admit, one of the things that I like about this machine that really attracted me to it was that it has the feature to cut the thread. So I figured if it cuts the thread, maybe it uses less thread than when you're sewing and you pull it out and then you got to cut it and stuff like that. So we'll see. Um, I'm going to tell you something. It's a little intimidating. Um, here I go with the ums again. Anyway, the operating manual. Oh, okay. It's really not that thick. Okay, well... You have two, one in Spanish and one in English. Um, I do speak Spanish, but I don't read Spanish. So I'll just hold on to the other one for my mom so she can read it if she doesn't. This is me and her opposites. It's a little bit thick. Um, <laughs> it looks like a lot of reading. Okay, but that's, that's okay. I mean, it is what it is. I guess, you know, some of it I'll understand, but like the H... C1850, which I did not do, and I think I should have. I didn't read the instructions. I did not read the owner's manual. I did refer to it, though, when I saw the machine wasn't working the way it was. So, anyway, um, this is the unboxing of it. Um, 
So, you know, it's the Brother SC 1900. I know there's not a lot of videos out there on this machine. This is one of the reasons why I want to do these videos is because I know people are saying they want to buy it, um, but nobody's really out there. They're using, I think it's the 400 or the 6, 625, something like that, in the 600 series, 400 series. And they love those machines. They say they're really, really good. But um, I kind of wanted something um, that, you know, this one has the, uh, supposed to have the, the LED color, the color on the LED. See, it's, it's a nice big screen. So it's supposed to be in color. So I wanted one in color. I didn't want black and white. I wanted something to be simple to use and everything. So hopefully this is going to do, going to be simple and I'm going to be able to sell. So please subscribe to my channel and you can watch me as I go through the whole process of putting the machine together and sewing for the first time, doing embroidery for the first time and see what I learned about embroidery, you know, the mistakes I've made, things that I've had to learn and stuff like that and go through this journey with me. I mean, I'm pretty excited. Um, I cannot wait to make my first embroidery. So, you know, um, Thank you for watching and stuff. Love the unboxing and stuff. Um, I didn't put it together, but I'll do that in another video when I go to put it together, okay? So, you know, thanks for joining me. Bye. Okay, hey folks, sorry. Um, there is more unboxing to do um, that uh, I figured I could show you some of this stuff, which you should know, hopefully. Um, when I first got this, First, I looked at it from my angle. It looked like this was dented. It's not, it's not dented. That's just how it goes. It just has that curved thing there. Okay, so just so you know, because you may freak out, like I always freak out thinking something's broken or something. You know, just, just me, it's how I am. I'm trying to position the camera so you can see the, uh, the machine this is where i have it i placed it next to my hc 1850 let me take this out of the way this is my little wine glass that i you know wine bottle really um got my needle and stuff um also just to let you know here let me just take this a little closer when you look at the machine um, at first I was like, oh, how the heck do you get this out? But there's a level here. It's like gray. I think you see it right there, you know? Um, very easy. Look, I lift it and I was like, wow, that's smooth. It's not like that one. That machine over there is kind of a little, not that it's that hard to do. How do you do it? You do it like that, I guess. But anyway, I got a stand there to do it, but this was, came out easy. Um... Oh, no advertisement here. There's a lot of tape to take out. So, you know, I'm just taking out the tape. Um, you know, they, they have little tabs on the tape. Makes it easy to peel off, which is kind of cool. Um, so let's take out all the tape now. It's a lot of tape, but that's pretty good because that means they took real good care of packaging it. Um... Let's see where does this go? There you go. Got that out. Um, oh, I see they have this little thing here. Uh, I think I have to take this out. Okay. Yep. Mhm. Mm and here's the tape. Take this out. Um, so then I guess to put the stuff in the sewing machine is usually stuff oh there's stuff in here oh oh look at that look at that so it came oh so wow take that surprised me i wasn't expecting this in here okay um hmm, bobbin should be in here is it maybe this is in the machine it's probably oh this is probably a bobbin in the machine and i don't know it that's probably why there's one empty because i was gonna say oh robbed okay you should have had a bob bobbin in there um pulling this out just a piece of paper and yep i was right there is there's a bobbin in here pull this out it's just like this one this machine see this bobbin there's a pull in, pull in there oops 
thought maybe you could see it. Sorry. Let's see. You, you do have the whole thing. So these are all the foots in there. Um, I wonder if I should have got these two. These are empty. Oh, I have one here. Okay. Oh, oh, one fell. Sorry. No. Here I go again. Always thinking I got Jip, and I didn't. Okay. So yep, that falls in there, and that's the J. The J is already on the machine. So, okay. And, ah, okay. I guess this one is in here. It had tape on it, too. Is for embroidery. This is the needle. I see this on the videos all the time. So I guess this is where the needle goes up and down and all that stuff like that. So this is pretty cool. Um, I really like the way all this kind of fits really nicely in here. It's like a really nice, nice little, I think I put that wrong. Nice little case. Nice casing, you know. I like that. Um, yeah, and I get to put that in here. Um, is it closing right? I don't have it down right. Oh, I didn't have it down right. Okay, my bad. Okay, so yeah, pretty, pretty neat. Um, so I took all the tape out. Let me see. Did I? Yep, I sure did. This looks nice, and there's a lot of extra stuff that's in here that I never seen before. So I guess now it's time for me to read the directions and see how this baby works. Um, you know, I did plug it in already. So I guess I should see, does it turn on? Oh, it does. It turns on. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. I, oh, look at that. Look at that, that. I hope you see it. Oh man, that's like watching a movie. Oh my goodness, this is really nice. I. I'm impressed. So far, I am impressed with this machine. I am hoping that I get to use it and make a lot of great gifts and stuff like that. So anyway, this time, truly, I am ending this video. I just really wanted to add that stuff in there. Um, I did put the pressure foot on here. Um, yeah, I put the pressure foot on here. I put the plug in here. Um, that's the only thing that's in there. Um, so... This is really good. I'm going to read the directions, find out how to thread this baby, and see if I can at least do a first stitch or something like that. And I'll do a video on that, okay? So that way, um, I can show you guys how to thread the Brother SC19. And if I screw up, somebody out there, please correct me, okay? Because, um, you know, like I said, I'm new. I'm learning this. So hopefully you can learn with me, you know, with all mistakes and everything. So anyway, thanks for, thanks for watching. Bye.